Hello, welcome back to Shankar's channel. Just put your feet on cloud. That's what my channel logo says. <laughs> All right, so uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about, uh, today I'm gonna tell you about how you can use Jenkins uh, to deploy artifacts to S3 bucket. Although I covered it in my last uh, demo video, but this time I'm not gonna use any secret IAM keys. I'm gonna use the role instead, right? I am I am role that we uh, can utilize uh, to deploy artifacts to S3 bucket uh, from Jenkins. So how you can do it is the very first step. I have like open the page GitHub, and uh, this page says that I have one repository called uh, Jenkins under my org Shankas demo and uh, <clears throat> or I can say it can, it can be individual user or it can be org and because I have signed it up with Shankas demo so it says Shankas demo I have created one public repository that is Jenkins I have created three files one is demo HTML uh, let's see go through one by one <clears throat> so it says uh, some kind of content that it would look like when we open this HTML file on the web page right and then we have another file called Jenkins file and that says how Jenkins would uh, perform the steps so I have created this Jenkins file already just to save our time so this pipeline will execute on any of the agent that is connected to master the reason I put it any here because I don't have any agents connect created and connected with master Jenkins master so I have uh, I'll, uh, I'd, I have like, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, let the uh, Jenkins uh, choose which agent he, uh, Jenkins would like to choose. And it is only, there is only one Jenkins master. So it would eventually be running on Jenkins master. And then it would uh, follow some, you know, stages wherein we have defined the steps. The first stage is it will check the version and that would the build uh, stage that I have like uh, uh, mentioned here. And then we have deploy. So whatever, uh, <clears throat> Uh, we have defined here like uh, file that to uh, go into the S3 bucket, it will uh, go to the S3 bucket. And this S3 bucket is already created here. Let me show you. And this is all I have uh, done already. Uh, basic stuff just to, you know, save our time. So this bucket has nothing but a simple basic configuration with no objects in there, right? So what I'm going to uh, show you is when you work in an organization where uh, you are asked to, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, set up such automation uh, wherein just developers uh, <coughs> do some decoding, I'm sorry, do some coding and upload <coughs> the <coughs> files on GitHub with the updated configurations. App files are, can be here, like one of the file is the .html file. It can be <coughs> other supported files as well. So whatever configurations they uh, uh, do here and then they commit it, uh, basically it will eventually be uh, throwing up on S3 bucket. And S3 bucket, you can uh, like open the S3 bucket objects uh, from in, in the URL form, like HTML, whatever <coughs> it is come up here, we can open the file. And in enterprise level, it can be the application related stuff, uh, which is uh, again uh, integrated with CloudFront as well as a as a front end service. So uh, that URL, CloudFront URL <coughs> would work for the users. And if they hit <coughs> Uh, the uh, CloudFront URL uh, on the other tab, it would eventually be opening the contents uh, of the S3 bucket, which is again the, uh, working as a backend uh, stuff here. All right, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a cold, so excuse me for that. So now I'm gonna go through one another thing that I have done, which is to have the supported plugin installed last time i used s3 publisher just to uh, make the utilization of uh, access keys and secret keys this time i what i did is i installed one plugin uh, and which is called <coughs> aws steps and these are uh, like, like this one i have installed it pipeline aws steps this would allow us to you know integrate the pipeline steps uh, you know, or to interact with the AWS API. Okay, let's come back to the major thing that we are going to do here. We'll create one 
<coughs> pipeline <coughs> i'll show you first how uh, we can create one pipeline <coughs> and how can uh, we uh, configure it i'll first show you the error and then we'll fix it and then we are all sorted right we'll wrap up this video so i have what i've done uh, let me just try to integrate it with github so i'll go ahead and choose this although you I have covered this session in the past as well so credentials i'll choose shankas demo i have already created so the credential here would be uh, your username and the uh, password would be token so if you are new you just need to go here add click jenkins it would ask username and password and then you can define username what username you have on the github and password as the api token that you can generate it from here and this uh, we have already covered it in the past video so you can go through those videos uh, those are very important uh, videos you should uh, take a look first and then you define some description and say okay so i have uh, already created it so i am choosing the correct one master branch here i have defined it because my entire code is in master you can have different branches in here so feel free to modify it according to your <coughs> configuration jenkins file <coughs> make sure it is uh, case sensitive so if it is like jenkins with j in capital here so it should be in, in the, the same here i'll save it <coughs> let's try to build it and see what it says i haven't done any kind of aws configuration for now just doing the build now okay i just installed the plugin but i haven't configured anything to use uh, you know aws uh, credentials so i hit build now it's running the build let's see <clears throat> what it says okay so eventually we got an error it has picked up the file jenkins file right it is running on the jenkins master it picked up this file from this repository and since it, we have to get installed in the server so like i showed you what i have in the jenkins file is it first check the java version and then it lists what uh, you know files and folders do we have in in this uh, directory where we are currently working and then it will choose one of the uh, file i have uh, taken dot html file as an example so this is how it works so it first check the java version we have 11.0.16 and then it uh, tries to find what all files we have so we have in the in this workspace we have uh, jenkins <coughs> file readme dot whatever we have in the github it, is, it has come up in the workspace of uh, jenkins we are working and then out of which we have a provided command to pick demo html and to deploy it to this bucket s3 bucket right so this is the basic command uh, you can just google it and try to get it from but here the error it says uh, upload fail dot uh, demo dot html an error invalid access keys when calling put object operation so it doesn't have any kind of authentication method set up to deploy your artifacts or files to s3 bucket so how we can fix it up uh, we won't do any configuration on jenkins since we have configured one uh, jenkins uh, file on github and everything is defined in here so but uh, we are defining just a step shell script to allow uh, jenkins to upload uh, or copy the demo html file to the bucket but it doesn't have any authentication details so uh, just to avoid this and instead of using keys and configuring the keys here on jenkins what you can do the best here is you can use the im role and with the im role you don't have to uh, define anything in here so there are two solutions with the im role first you create im role like this <coughs> i'm creating an im role here okay go to im create role i'll choose uh, aws service I'll choose S3 for saying, okay. and then I'll say allow S3 to call EC3 service on your behalf. Or uh, what we can say is instead of S3, we'll use EC2 because we are supposed to allow EC2 instances to call other AWS services. So Jenkins Master is on our EC2 machine, so we are allowing EC2 
in our case and here I'll give this uh, for this demonstration I'll give full access for EC2 and for S3 S3 okay I'll say next I'll again hit the name as Jenkins demo S3 role okay and we can uh, you can have the trusted entities here so one another interesting thing is uh, since we are working within the one account but if you have a scenario wherein your s3 bucket in different accounts and you would like to use same jenkins agent uh, in the one account to interact with s3 uh, bucket deployed in the other environments and using im role you can uh, create assume role that will assume as if this is like kind of a known s3 bucket to that particular role which is in the different account so i will not uh, uh, <clears throat> do any changes here i'll go ahead with the default settings and create role let's see it's creating role the so role is created i'll go ahead and view the role here like that okay now what i'm going to do here is i'll pick <clears throat> the role Jenkins demo role I'll copy it and go back to my EC2 instance so this is uh, to avoid configuring your access and secret keys anywhere not on the console AWS nor on the Jenkins nor on the github right you just created a role and that would be uh, associated to this ec2 instance so i'll put the so here i'm uh, asking my ec2 to take this role and whatever uh, permissions we have in here just execute it right uh, if we have any associated commands with it where we have defined the roles likewise you can also uh, grant more services access to this particular role to interact jenkins with those aws services so for now we have picked up s3 so i'll update im role here I'll go back to my uh, Jenkins and try to build it here. So what I did, I haven't I still haven't configured any uh, keys in Jenkins. Just attached one IAM role that has extra bucket full access to the EC2 where we have Jenkins installed. And if you have connected any uh, agent machines as well, so just uh, make sure you also modify the IAM role on those machines. So we'll say build now. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> okay this shows a successful build and let's see what we have in here so it has uh, uh, a successfully executed uh, java version and then it has picked up the jenkins file and then it has completed the upload so if we go into the rs3 bucket here like i showed you we do not have anything in there but now we have something so i go to s3 bucket click this i'll open this demo.html because we have asked uh in the script that it should demo html should go to the s3 bucket if i open it this is what we have defined in though in that uh, demo html file on the chain you can see very interesting here so you have uh, updated anything here and that is eventually going to here but when you open uh, from end user perspective when you open this website it would show the changes a developer has done in the GitHub. So it doesn't have to do anything with Jenkins, anything with AWS. The automation is kind of uh, set up in the way whenever developers do any changes and when the uh, commit, based on the commit, you can set up the automatic trigger here. So whenever uh, the pipeline uh, uh, gets triggered and on the successful build, you would have those changes in the website by default. So from end user perspective, whenever they refresh it, it would have the latest content that is on the S3 bucket, which is again uh, getting fetched from uh, Jenkins, which is again integrated with GitHub. So this is a long uh, process here. I have like set it up in very quick automated steps. All right, so whatever you modify in this file, uh, like if I'm doing demo HTML, and if I edit this file, gee, good luck. 
Shankus channel. Or I would say Shankus, but my logo says feet on cloud. And then I do the commit changes here. I I am now uh, building up since I haven't uh, set up the automatic trigger, so I'm building it manually. When the build is successful here, we'll refresh it. Let's see, build is successful. Let's wait for the build. So it says the green check means it is successful. So the currently uh, you you are uh, getting this. Princess Grand Analyzer, wish you good luck. If I refresh it, you have got Shankar's feet on cloud, which we just edited. So you can also uh, set up in your uh, environment how you can automate the process using IAM role where you don't have to hard code the credentials anywhere. All right. Um, please stay tuned for the further updates or more videos, more demos, sessions. And you have been very awesome audience. Please stay in touch. Thank you for watching.